everyone, so today I am doing a first impression on this amazing, like seriously look at this packaging, it's so cute. Um, this is a cover cushion, so it's like a foundation kind of product I guess, in a little compact. I'll show you the packaging in a second, but it is the Pikachu. Pokemon by Tony Moly. And I did a Korean haul recently, like a Korean beauty and makeup haul recently. I'll link it down below. And I asked you guys what you wanted to see first, but I haven't even uploaded that video yet. I just really wanted to do this today, so I'm doing this one first. And then I'll read your guys' requests for my next one, because I've got so many products I want to try out on video. So yeah, this one here is the cutest little Pikachu little foundation product, and it is called the Mini Cover Cushion. It's SPF 50, so I guess it's just because like the actual product is quite small. This is in the shade one, Skin Beige. Can't see how many mils you get on the packaging, so I'll just look it up. Okay, so you get nine grams of product. And it comes in two shades. So yeah, this is the lighter shade. Hopefully it matches me okay. Oh my god, there's blush as well. I want it. Oh my god. <laughs> Pikachu was my life when I was a little, little child. Like when I was like six or seven or something. So this is the sponge. Can we talk about how freaking cute that is? I'm gonna try it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, but if it's crap, I will use a brush. And then it comes in this little compact. Okay, so it's got a little security kind of seal. So you just peel it off and you have your product in here. And it's got a sponge. I don't know if you can see, like if I press my finger on it, it's like a wet sponge with product. Let's just see what the color looks like. It's probably gonna be a bit too pale, but I can bronze. Oh, it's not too bad actually. So the idea of these, as far as I know, is it's just like really nice and quick. It's often a dewy finish. It's often a kind of light to medium buildable kind of coverage and really hydrating, moisturizing, dewy finish kind of thing. Um, as far as I know, this could be different. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna use a little Pokeball sponge and just press it in. It looks like this. <laughs> it's so random. Crap, I need to prime half my face first. Hold one sec. I'm just gonna use my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer on half of my face just to see if there's any difference with the application and longevity of this makeup. Let's do this. Let's do unprimed first. Can you see this? It looks so good. I've like only just started blending it in. I've just got the exposure on a little bit dark so you can kind of see better. Whoop, crap. It's still a little bit awkward to use, but it does the job really nicely and it looks really even. This will be so good for on the go. Hopefully it's a good product. So all of that on my face was just like that couple of dips. So I've just done one more dip. It's definitely a bit too pale for me as you can see. So I kind of wish I got the darker color, but I can bronze it up like I said and use like a darker powder and it looks freaking flawless. Okay, another dip. Sorry, Zeus is barking at someone. This looks so radiant and pretty. I would say the coverage is like a medium coverage. It's covered up my redness so, so easily but it's still letting a few freckles peek through ever so slightly but look how well the redness is just like gone like it's unbelievable another dip oh that went all over my finger so this is the prime side so on the unprimed side it blends it out so easily like effortlessly and same story on this side the texture of this feels incredibly thin like i can't feel it on my face and it's really, really lightweight. I'm gonna do another dab and just build it up. Cause as you can see, just with one push in here, one application, you can see a little bit of redness and stuff. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm so impressed with this so far. My skin looks so healthy. Like it looks glowy, but not like too glowy, not too shimmery, not too like wet looking or anything. Like it's like the perfect amount of dewiness you could possibly get. Like just looks so healthy. It looks like I just put on like a really good moisturizing lotion or something. Oh, look at this. I'm just gonna take a little on a flat face brush and just blend, oh, that works amazing. Just gonna blend that on my neck. If you wanna like get this foundation on quickly, the foundation brush is where it's at. So once you're done with the product, you just clip this shut. It should click in and that'll help to keep the product all nice and fresh. And you can stick a little sponge in. 
And it comes with a mirror too, by the way. Like, how cute is this packaging? I love it so much. So, I am actually going to be filming a really natural makeup tutorial today. So I'm going to leave this little review portion here. I'm going to switch over to another video, do some makeup, and then I'll come back once I have it set my base. Hey guys, so I have now done blush and bronzer, which was like a cream blush and bronzer, and concealer under my eyes, just here, just here. A little bit on those freckles and then I did Max Studio Fix in C2 and then under my eyes a little bit of well rested and this is where we at it looks like bloomin flawless it looks like Photoshop in real life and it looks radiant like I have not got highlighter on but look at my cheekbones like it's so glowy and beautiful but not too over the top like I said so I'm really happy so far now I'm gonna zoom you in this is how we are looking so this is the primed side and then this is the unprimed side. So I feel like they look more or less the same. It covered all that redness, but it still let all of my little cute freckles. I love these ones. <laughs> all my little freckles just are kind of peeking through still. I hate this freckle. That one's still peeking through, even though I put some concealer on it. Um, and on my forehead, you can kind of see my freckles as well. I feel like already you can kind of see a little bit of expression line action which is not ideal as far as my pores go it doesn't hide my pores at all like you can see just in here i don't feel like it emphasizes them too much despite it being quite dewy i actually feel like my pores on my unprimed side look better but that could just be my face i don't know so overall so far i'm really enjoying it also in flash photography it looked pretty dang good even though it's spf 50 I feel like it still looked pretty good. It wasn't a crazy flashback like what I was expecting, but you still might want to be pretty careful. Like if it's a really special occasion, like your wedding or something like that, I probably would just stay away from it just to be safe. But I feel like this is the kind of thing you could wear out and if you get a flash photography photo taken, it's not going to be the end of the world. So it's now half past 10 a.m. So we'll just say from around 10, 10 30 because I obviously applied this a lot earlier. I've just been doing my other makeup. I will come back in a few more hours and we'll We'll see how it looks. Hey everyone, so update time, it is now 1.30. So it's been on for like over three hours now. I've done a whole lot of filming, just had lunch. So hopefully I don't have food in my teeth. I do have lipstick here somehow. Overall, around my nostrils it has creased a little bit. And apart from that, I freaking love the way it looks. It looks so beautifully flawless without looking too heavy. Like I feel like it still looks quite natural. But you can still see, as I said, my skin underneath, it just takes away the rudeness and the unevenness and it just makes my skin look healthy. I'll zoom you in. It's a little bit darker too, so you can see everything. I'm like pretty impressed so far, apart from this. This is annoying. But the rest of it is looking great still, so I will keep you updated throughout the rest of the day. I'll come back in a few more hours. Hey everyone, so we've got this awesome blown out lighting happening because the sun is starting to go down and the lighting in my room is just like really bad right now. It's 5.30, so it's been on for like seven and a half, seven hours. And it has melted more around my nostril, if you can see, and it did come off where I was wearing my sunglasses. Other than that, it hasn't really changed that much. It hasn't sunk in into any expression lines any more than earlier. I feel like it has faded ever so slightly down here, but not too badly. And considering how freaking hot it is today, it's doing pretty well, to be honest. I honestly thought it would like melt straight off because of that really thin formula. It's so, so thin and so like, I don't know, just moisturizing. I just didn't assume it would last. So, so far it's doing all right. And it does still look really, really smooth on both sides of my face where my pores are. Can we appreciate my highlight? It's a secret highlighter. One thing I've just noticed, it looks a little bit oily on my nose. So I have to keep an eye on that as the day progresses. But yeah, I'll come back later on, like after dinner, my family are coming over for dinner. So we'll see how it looks tonight. Hey everyone, so my makeup is looking pretty terrible at this point. Like under my eyes is hard out creasing. I don't know if you can see. It has definitely gripped on to the dry skin down here and it's melted more around my nostrils and it looks really greasy as well like all over my nose it's like oily it's coming off of my finger in terms of fading it hasn't faded too much like the redness isn't really intense down here still it looks more or less very similar and like on my forehead it looks very similar it's just oily and greasy on both sides of my face primed and unprimed overall i still really like this product and i feel like it's the perfect product for me when i'm just rushing out the door when i'm just popping into town for a couple of hours and i don't really mind about long lasting or anything like that like i wouldn't wear this 
on a night out or anything but I would wear this if I was going out for lunch with friends or like you know off to school for the day or whatever I feel like for about six or seven hours it definitely looked pretty good by the way it's 10 30 p.m. right now so it's been on for 12 hours so I would definitely say you know like six hours kind of thing overall I still really like it just because it covered so beautifully it was fast so easy to use especially if you take like a foundation brush like it's so quick I don't know if I'd recommend it for people with oily skin just because I don't know if it would just like slip and slide around it might feel a bit too you know greasy on your face but for me with normal to dry skin I really liked it so yeah that's my little review the packaging is amazing I feel like for the price especially like it's pretty cheap I feel like it's worth a shot especially if you just are looking for something just to chuck on quickly during the day not too fussed about you know something that's gonna last all day long if you just want a natural little bit of coverage just something to make your skin look nice and healthy it could be perfect for like mums and people that just don't have as much time to fuss around on their face like if you are a late riser you need something just to whip on before school or whatever or in the car or something like that not while you're driving of course passengers only you know what I mean just something quick and easy and it just looks free and nice just for daytime that's probably the best way to put it it's a good daytime kind of product not really nighttime not like I really want to compare these two because you know the last Korean first impression I did was on a BB cream and that definitely lasted a lot better I definitely liked that product as a whole better but this little compact thing is like its own little product it's faster it's more convenient it's more natural it's more glowy but if you're looking for more coverage check out my last first impression I did on that BB cream I'll list it down below I really liked that as well if you're looking into like some Korean products overall would I recommend this depending on what you want yes I would if you're looking for some matte high coverage um, long lasting long wear waterproof product this is not it it's very natural it's very radiant just daytime friendly so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys again soon bye